Hey everyone, this is Dusko Makasthea Gamer, and currently we're playing Fail Seduction. This is an Xbox Live indie game. Let's see. Late and drunk, you stumble in with my father ready to sin. Silver dollar. That's all I read. This game contains violence, coarse language, sexuality, player discretion is advised. There you guys go. Some player, some player discretion on all this. So, everybody be warned about the, the, the contents of the maturities. Y'all got it? I think we all got it. So if y'all got it, let's just break right into this one. Let me move this over there. Should be good, should be good. Emily, there's a doctor here to see you. Hello, Emily. I'm Dr. Winters. How are you feeling today? Okay. That's good. Emily, I just want to ask you a few questions. Is that okay with you? Okay. Do you know why you're here? No. Do you remember what happened before you came to this hospital? Yes. Would you like to tell me what happened? No. What are you drawing? A story. What's it about? Bad people. Can you tell me what happens in the story? Okay, but you have to promise not to tell anyone. My lips are sealed. That's me tied up. I can't move my arms because they put me in a special jacket. Don't worry, I'm not always wearing it. I used to live in a house with my mommy and daddy. My grandpa was rich, so we had a really cool house. My mom and dad were very happy. That was them before I was born. And that's them on vacation. I have to grow up to be as pretty as my mom. But then one day, when I was really little, my mom got into a car crash. My dad says she went to heaven, but I didn't believe in heaven. Why would she go there and leave me here? It was just my dad and me for a while, until an angel came to visit. She told me that demons are coming. She said I was have to fight these demons to save me and my dad. And the angel said the worst demons are the ones that are disguised. They look like ordinary people. The angel gave me a special gift to see these demons. She told me that the demons will look like a woman, and that they will come after my dad. It was my job to protect him. That was hard because my dad was lonely and girls seemed to like him a lot. One night, when I was supposed to be in bed, I snuck downstairs to see my dad's girlfriend waiting for him on the couch. She must have been cold because she didn't have much on. My dad keeps talking about how pretty she is and how she's in magazines and stuff. I think she looks like a whore though. There's not. The angel told me to go into the kitchen and get a knife. Then the angel told me to kill her. She said the girl was a demon sent from hell, and the demon was going to kill everyone. So I did what any good daughter would do. There's not much for me to say. It's kind of a story-based game. Make it bloody. Bleed. Oh my, baby's coming out of it. So she's like has a body. It was my first time, so I didn't really know what to do. So I just kept cutting. Okay, so I can't even hit it when it's even burning. Uh, uh. I wanted to send this demon back to hell where it belonged. Oh, I should avoid the water. I was almost there. I remember seeing the demon get weaker. I felt his energy draining from its body. Not much to say, I'll let the story After go. After a long time, I finally killed the demon. I made sure the demon was dead too. I think I must have stabbed it like tons of times. The angel told me to go outside and break the back window with the rock. Then hide the knife, so I did that as fast as I could. Police were everywhere, and my dad was sad. I felt bad for my dad, but the angel told me I did the right thing. I'm standing outside the home of Carl Ritter, where Mary Miner's body was found. One witness said the body looked like it had been stabbed a hundred times. Mary Miner was a fashion model and was reportedly in a relationship with Carl Ritter. I was hoping it was over and the demons were gone. I just wanted life to go back to normal. 
couple months later, we moved into a new home. I didn't notice any demons there, so that was a good sign. My dad would drop me off to school every day. It was a new school, and I didn't have any friends to talk to. I was having fun at school until one day I noticed a demon. It wasn't like the ones I saw before. This one was different and meaner. Thankfully, the angel came back and gave me the courage to keep fighting. My teacher started to hang around my dad a lot. She was very nice to me, so we became friends. She would take me out for dessert on weekends. That was a lot of fun. So one day, the angel came to me and told me that I'd been tricked by a demon. My teacher was a demon and I didn't even notice. How could I have been so stupid? She was always touching my dad in places only grown-ups touch. <sighs> the angel was right. My teacher's an evil slut. The angel told me I had to get rid of the demon before it got my dad into bed. The angel said I had to do it after school when all the other kids were gone. So one day, I went to school with my knife in my backpack. I waited until all the students were gone. I was just doing what the angel told me to do. I was trying to protect my dad. This demon was much stronger than the last. I was very scared. The demon's eyes looked scared too, but beneath the body was pure evil. I could tell it wasn't really scared. I remember that moment, that moment right before I made the final blow. When I killed this demon, I felt a lot different than when I killed the first demon. It felt good to kill this one because I knew this one was really, really bad. The angel didn't help me clean up this time. I had to do it all by myself. It's okay because I knew what to do so I wouldn't get in trouble. It's weird because later that night, the police came to take my dad away. I don't know why they keep wanting to see him. I'm standing in front of Franklin Elementary School where the body of Karen O'Dell was found. Officer Lisa Neely described the crime scene as a nightmare too gruesome for words. Carl Ritter has been taken into custody for questioning. I knew my dad didn't do anything, but I still didn't get to see him until the next day. My dad spent a lot of time at the police station after that. I would sometimes go with him or stay at home with the babysitter. I would tell the babysitter about the angel and demons sometimes, but she didn't seem to care. The babysitter was my only friend, really. She would take me to places to get candy and stuff. That was fun. She was really pretty, too. She kind of looks like my mom. One night, she told me a ghost story. Somehow the demons heard it too, and they started to send their own ghosts after me. The angel told me not to worry about the ghosts. I can get rid of ghosts with demon blood. I just had to avoid the ghosts until I can find some demon blood. The angel helped me avoid them too. She's nice that way. One night, the angel came down and told me all about the demons from hell. She told me the devil wants to walk the earth, but the angels won't let him. She said my dad had special blood, and if I was ever to have a brother, then my brother would be the devil. You see, the devil has sent his demons to make a baby with my dad so he can walk the earth. I thought I got all the demons, but it turns out there's another. This demon was disguised as a police lady, but she didn't look like a police lady to me. She was always with my dad, but never around my house. I think she took him to places to do their grown-up stuff. Late one night, the police lady was downstairs in the TV room arguing with my dad. They were talking about some kind of test and said something about it being positive. I'm not really sure what they were talking about. The angel told me I didn't have much time and I had to kill that demon tonight. The angel told me if I didn't, the angel would be forced to kill everyone. So I got my knife, but I was so tired from avoiding ghosts, I didn't think I could do it. So the angel gave me the power to heal myself. I can't use it often, but when I do, I feel a lot better. I snuck outside without my dad knowing and waited for the demon in the backseat of its car. The angel told me to be careful of this one because it had powerful weapons. I 
I just wanted these demons to go away forever. I was tired. I wanted to sleep. Why wouldn't they just leave me alone? Leave my fucking dad alone already. Don't worry, it has a happy ending, I promise. Right before I killed the demon, I told it the devil will never win, and that they should just give up. I remember the demon looking shocked. And that's how I got my demon blood to get rid of the ghosts. Just after I finished collecting the blood from the demon, my noisy neighbor banged on the car window and then started to scream. My dad came running out and a bunch of other people too. Then some news people came and the police grabbed me and took me away from my dad. I don't know what all the fuss was about. She wasn't a woman, she was a demon. Why couldn't the police see that? Seven-year-old Emily Ritter was taken into custody today after allegedly killing police officer Lisa Neely in the back of her car with a kitchen knife. Then I had to see a judge and a bunch of people in their suits. Today, Emily Ritter goes on trial for the brutal killing of three women. The first victim was Mary Minor, who was in a relationship with Emily's father. The second victim was Karen O'Dell, Emily Ritter's school teacher and close friend. The last victim, Lisa Neely, was a police officer investigating the murders of Mary Minor and Karen O'Dell. She became romantically involved with Carl Ritter during her investigation and was pregnant at the time of her death. Emily was found covered in blood and holding the murder weapon in the back seat of Lisa's car. Lisa's body was in the front seat of her car. Police reports state that all three victims were stabbed repeatedly with a kitchen knife. I had to go to courtroom over and over. It was really boring. After one of the longest and most expensive trials the city of Franklin has ever seen, eight-year-old Emily Ritter was found guilty of three counts of first-degree murder. She is being taken to the secure unit in Franklin's psychiatric hospital for a full evaluation. They took away my knife, but I drank the demon blood from the body of the police lady, so they couldn't take that away from me. Now they keep me trapped here in this white room. It's boring because I don't get to see anyone. They don't even let me play outside. Thankfully, the angel came to see me. She told me that I'd be getting out soon. I'm sorry to say I don't think you'll be leaving anytime soon. Yep, I will be, the angel said. Once I kill the last demon, she'll lift me out of these walls and take me to a safe place. Who's the last demon? You. What are you talking about? You said the demons were all women. No, I said all the demons were disguised as women, except for their master. Their master is disguised as a man. The angel calls this one Asmodeus. When I killed Asmodeus's minions, the angel told me it would come from me instead of my dad because it was mad at me. That's why you're here. Are you mad, doctor? That needle behind your back isn't a sedative. It's poison. I know because the angel told me. I'll have no problem killing you, though. You sent the guards away so you wouldn't get caught. But now, there's no one to help you. It's just you and me. My dear Emily, you're so young, so innocent, so pathetic. It's sad, really, this delusion you're living in. Well, that's right, Emily. You're living in a delusion, and it's hijacking your life. You see, the truth is, you were never going to win. After I kill you, the devil will walk the earth once more. Oh, and I'm sorry about your mom. It's nothing personal, but for obvious reasons, I had to get rid of her. to enjoy watching you die. This is for ruining my dad's life, and this is for ruining my life, and this is for my mom. It's over. Mom, I'm sorry I wasn't able to save you, but dad is okay. Emily, your father is here to see you. 
And he has a surprise for you. You're going to be a big sister. Oh my god. I need a doctor. Someone get a doctor in here now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck. You'll be okay. Uh, you'll be okay. He's, he's not breathing. He's not breathing. Security, somebody help. I guess I have more work to do after all. Late and drunk you stumble in, with my father ready to sin. You touch my dad to seduce, tightening your grip like a noose. But the angel said you would come, to replace my beautiful mom. I'll be watching you night and day. I hope for your sake you learn to pray. For if you try to fuck my dad, I'll make you wish you never had. My name's Dr. Winters, and I'll be performing a psychiatric evaluation on Emily. She clearly has some kind of severe neurological disorder, perhaps stemming from her mother's death. I've worked with many patients with mental disorders, but I've never had a case so severe, and with someone so young. Her lack of guilt and remorse is definitely characteristic of a psychopath, but she really doesn't exhibit any other psychotic behavior. The brutality of her crimes has fueled a media frenzy, which I believe could have a negative effect on her ego. A sweet little girl is hiding behind those glossy eyes. I'm going to show the world that she's not the demon the media has made her out to be. There's only one thing I know to be certain. Emily will go down in history as the world's youngest serial killer. I quit my job at Franklin Psychiatric Hospital a week after it happened. Nothing can prepare you for something like that. You have no idea what it was like. The blood was everywhere. The, the floor, the wall, the ceiling. And her smile. She just sat there with a smile on her face. The whole time, just sitting there, smiling. You don't know what it was like to witness something like that. She was... drinking the blood. Are you guys planning on interviewing her? I wouldn't. I wouldn't go near her if I were you. She's the devil. No, no, I'm serious. She's the fucking devil. You don't believe me, do you? You will. Soon enough. You will. You will. I like the game. I'm guessing looking at the live stream chat, some of you guys didn't. I liked it, though. Emily, there's All right, so it just starts off from there. So go to the quitting. That has been Fatal Seduction. Catch you guys next time.